Hi, today I'm going to give you a brief tour of the WordPress control panel. Uh, as you can see here, we have a fresh installation of WordPress. This is the dashboard that comes up when you first log in. Uh, right here, you have a brief view of your site. Uh, WordPress by default gives you these various content widgets uh, that give you all kinds of information. First of all, you have the right now, which says how much content has been published on your site, what are people talking about, how many comments have been approved, and so forth. Below that, there's a recent comments one, incoming link so you can see who is talking about different posts on your site, as well as plugins that have been released, uh, WordPress news, uh, posts from their official WordPress blog. If you have any drafts that you haven't published yet, they'll be listed here. And finally, a quick press, which just lets you very quickly fire off uh, a post. You can even have an insert of an image, video, any other kind of media right there straight from your control panel. Um, you may not want to have all this out here and most WordPress screens allow you to customize them by clicking up here on screen options. If I want to take out the right now I just uncheck that box and it's gone. I can take out recent comments, incoming links, uh, recent drafts, whatever I want to take out and it's going to be gone just leaving me with whatever I'd like. Um, this can be helpful as lots of plugins insert widgets here in your dashboard. You may not want that. This is an easy way to get rid of them if you don't want them. Uh, but you're here not just to look at your dashboard. You want to create some content. That's why you started WordPress anyway. And you do that by coming over here to these links. Uh, first one up is posts. This is where you would go to create a blog post. Uh, you can click on posts and see the ones that have already been published so far. Right below it you can add a new one by clicking add new. Just enter your title and your content when you're finished, click Publish, and you will have made a new blog post. It's that easy. Uh, below that, you can add new categories. This is a spot you could go to edit them. You can also work with the tags that have been used in different posts. They can be adjusted here to, to be a little bit different. Say you started out by making them all lowercase, and you decide you want to upper, make them all uppercase. You can do that here. Um, whatever it is you want to do, you can adjust your tags there. Uh, you can add media from within inside a page or a post, uh, but you can also do it independently of them right here. Say you want to input an a image into a text widget, you could upload it right here by going to Add New. All you got to do is select a file, just pick it and upload it. In no time at all, you will have your image uploaded. You can add a title for it your alternate text, caption, all those things right there. It's simple. You can also browse through the library of images that have been uploaded and you can easily make adjustments to those there. Links. You can easily post links to other WordPress sites or other sites out there um, by going to the link section. By default WordPress comes uh, with these links uh, that go mostly to you know, WordPress areas and properties and you can um, edit them uh, easily. You can select this top box here and that'll select every single one in that list. You can apply a bolt action to them if you want to. In this case I'm going to delete all of them. And all those links are gone. Now I can add in links to the sites that um, are related to me personally. If I have content that's a bit more static and is not going to be changing so often, like an about me page or my contact page, uh, that would go under pages. Uh, by default, WordPress comes with this little sample page. Uh, you can delete that because it's probably not going to be something that you want. You can put in here uh, about me and add in you know whatever content you'd like. Click publish, and you've got that page published. Uh, comments, if you want to work with comments more extensively than just from your dashboard, you can do that here easy enough to do. Below that is the appearance section. This is where you can go and uh, add in new themes. Uh, with version 3.1 they've given us a nice little options line right here. It lets us easily get to widgets, uh, create our navigation menus, change the background, and the header if the theme supports those. Uh, you can also get those uh, right here as well. You can also make edits to your theme by clicking on the editor and it's going to pull up uh, features. Yeah, it's going to pull up different files that are included within your theme. And you'll be able to edit them. If you want to make any adjustments, you can do that right there. Below that is a spot for plugins. 
Click on that, you can see the plugins that are available on your site. Notice these are grayed out, that means that they're not activated. I can select this again to select them all and click activate. And lo and behold, they're activated. Easy enough. I want to go to add new. I can either search wordpress.org for available plugins right here, or if I have a zip file for one, I can choose to upload it right there. I can even look for featured plugins. I can look for popular plugins, uh, newest ones, ones that have been recently updated. Last time I checked, there was over 13,000 plugins available from wordpress.org and also hundreds more from people that are selling them and uh, promoting them on other sites. There's lots of plugins out there. If you have a need, there's almost certainly a plugin out there for you. Next section down is users. Here you can see uh, the user account that was set up when you created uh, this WordPress installation. In this case, it's me. Uh, you can also add new users here. Um, it's simple to do. You just fill out the required information. Uh, you can also adjust your own profile. Uh, you can uh, put in more information about yourself. Some themes will display uh, little bits of your contact information, um, including a little bio. All that's available. Just click update when you're finished. Make that change. The tool section uh, has got a few things that you might find helpful. Uh, if you'd like to uh, add a, a bookmarklet uh, called Press This, makes it easy for you to add images and text and so forth you find on the web to your blog or your site. It's easy to do that. Uh, it's also got a little tool here that lets you convert tags into categories and categories into tags if you should find that helpful. There's also a spot here where you can import and export content. Uh, makes it simple to uh, move your site from one place to another, like to back up, uh, or to change uh, from one domain name to another. It can be very helpful. Uh, last thing is the settings menu. Here you get the general settings. It has everything from your site title. Uh, I oftentimes get questions, where on earth does the Just Another WordPress site come from? It's right here. It's your tagline. You can change that to be whatever you'd like it to be. Um, it can be not just another. You can do that there. Uh, this is the URL for your WordPress address and the site. URL address. Uh, if you want to know what that means, I'd click this link here. This screencast doesn't go into the difference between those two. Um, your email address, membership requirements, all these things. The time zone, if you would like to set the time zone, it's probably a good idea. Uh, I don't live uh, where that is. I live in central time zone in the United States, which is way up here. I'm going to look for Chicago. Is that central time zone? You can also change what day of the week your site starts on, how time's formatted, all kinds of things. Uh, the writing lets you choose how big the post box is. You can set a default category. Um, post format, if your theme supports those, you can set however you want those to be. Link categories. Uh, you can also post via email if you set this up right here. Remote publishing, if you want to use the, uh, the WordPress uh, iOS app or their Android app and those kind of things you need to enable that in order to be able to to publish with those applications. Uh, the reading this sets up uh, what your front page will display. Some pages, some themes come with a built-in home page. Other ones don't. You can either choose to use your latest posts or you can actually pick from a static page if you'd like to have that as your home page instead of showing your most recent posts. You can then pick a page to be your post page if you want to do that as well. Um, some themes are set up a little differently, so you might check with your themes documentation and see how it's done. Uh, you can also set how many pages you would like to, how many blog posts you'd like to show per page. So if the default is 10, say you want a few less than that, you can set it to be 5, show half as many, might make your site load a little faster. Uh, totally up to you. Discussion, this will deal with commenting. Lots of options here. Uh, the default works for most people, uh, but you can always uh, change them to suit your needs best. Uh, media, first up is the thumbnail sizes. Whenever you upload an image, WordPress is going to create three alternate sizes for you to be able to use. The first is a little thumbnail, and there's a medium size and a large size. This is in addition to the full size that you uploaded. Uh, you can adjust those to suit your needs if you have something a little bit different. 
the embedding, this is a neat feature of WordPress. If you'd like to add a video from YouTube, you can just put the URL for that video into a page or post, and WordPress will automatically turn it into a, um, a video that's playable. It's really nifty. Um, if you need to uh, change the settings for that, do it right here in the embedding section. The uploading files, uh, you can change these from the defaults if you'd like to store your upload someplace else. Privacy, this just says, hey, I want people to be able to see my site, including search engines and so forth. Um, you can say, no, I don't want search engines to be able to see this, but I'd like other people to be able to see this. Permalink settings. Now this just basically is going to say what your uh, URL structure is going to look like. Let's see If I go to the front end here, click on my sample page, it's going to give this ugly looking URL. Who wants to go to a screencast slash question mark page underscore ID equals two? I mean, nobody wants to see that. They want to see something that says a sample page or about. So you do that by going over here to permalink settings. Um, the default is, is this ugly thing right here. We can choose from several that are suggested. One is the day and name, so that if you have a post, it would say the year, the month, the day, and then the post name. You could do something month and the name. We'll have the year, the month, and the name. You could do something numeric, uh, or you could just do something custom. Um, it's totally up to you how you want to do it. Uh, say you want to just have the name of the post. If you're not going to be doing lots, this might be the, the simplest way to do it. Save your changes. Come back over here to the front of the site. Click on sample page and now it says sample page instead of that page ID equals two. That runs us through the WordPress control panel. Uh, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, but there's a whole lot you can do with it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.